Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. It's been about six days. Um, I'm trying to get used to posting. And by the way, if you can hear coughing in the background, is my grandmother. She's kind of like sick right now, I think. So sorry about the background noise. Um, basically, um, a lot's been happening <laughs> these past few days. Um, I've been dealing with my exam stress, revising all week. Um, because I have my start of the year exams coming up, um, at some point during November, and also I decided to make the intro picture for this video, Matthew Perry, because honestly, it's such a tragic loss how we lost him so soon and so quickly. He was just starting to get better, and I feel so tragically, like, heartbroken. And I don't even want to know how the rest of the cast feels. They probably feel heartbroken and in a really deep, dark place. And that is just awful. And he was slowly recovering from what he was going through. And it was so horrible. And I was so proud of him, how he was actually getting over all of that stuff. And how he was fighting for it. But it's so sad that he passed. And we'll always remember him as Chandler, as the one who made us laugh all the time. We watched friends, always put a smile on our faces. Because whenever I was having a bad day or I just needed to laugh and smile, I would always watch friends because of him. He would always be the one I'd look out for when he made a joke. And it made my day a hundred times better. But now I can't watch friends knowing that he's not, like... In this world anymore it's so hard to get over it and I definitely know that my family and I have been crying about it because I grew up on Friends my mother loved that show so much and me and my brothers love it too because honestly we've all said like you are not mom's child if you haven't watched Friends <laughs> so yeah um, if you haven't watched Friends go watch it it's a really great show it's really really funny um, and it'll lift your spirits right up. But, yeah. So, rest in peace, Matthew Perry. Love you so much, and thank you for making my dark days so much brighter. But, let's go on with this video. So, let's say you are in English class, because, to be honest, I think I fell asleep, like, three, four times in that class before. I don't know, wait. I fell asleep what multiple times. Girl, please, like, I have time for English. Anyway, so I have school tomorrow. In fact, it's one a.m., but no one cares. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so you're in class and you fall asleep because of what the teacher was talking about something fucking boring, and Eddie fell asleep too because it's English. Come on, guys, come on. And then suddenly he wakes up. Because he's like, you know, he doesn't know what the fuck he is. He thinks it's bright and like, you know, yeah. But then he looks over at you and is in shock to know that there is blood coming out of your nose. <laughs> Holy shit. Listen. Listen. Let's wake up. You slowly wake up and lift your head to face him, and you're all sleepy and drowsy. Whoa, hey, you're bleeding. I mean, no, oh my god. Uh, sir, can I take her to the nurse? She's bleeding. Oh my god, uh, yeah, please do. Take her to the nurse, please. Thank you, Eddie, thank you. Yeah, sure. Come on, let's go. So he takes you to the nurse's office, and yeah, <laughs> that, that's it, pretty much. Hey, nurse, she's bleeding. Oh my god. Um, yeah, okay, I'll get some paper towels. Um, you two stay here and make sure the blood doesn't get everywhere. Yeah, okay. So she comes back with like paper towels in her hands and just like kind of shoving it under your nose. <laughs> Come here, sit down. Okay, I'm just gonna tilt your head back a little bit and just pinch the top of your nose. It won't hurt. Just, yeah, like that. Just hold the tissues there and the bleeding should stop in a second. So two minutes later, the bleeding stops 
and you lower your head back to like normal level and you feel fine ish all good okay so we can just do the gestures away all right now listener what was that how did this happen um well basically we were both asleep in class <sighs> we were both sleeping in class really yeah um that's not the point the point is she was bleeding so these nosebleeds have just been happening or is that your first one is it regular or every now and then it's been happening for a while okay what it's been happening for why didn't you say anything? I feel like this is a kind of like a you two discussion. Are you two dating or? Yeah, we are. Can you give us a sec? Yeah, I'll just about to. I'll, I'll just, yeah. So she leaves and it gives you guys some privacy for like two, three minutes. How could you not tell me this has been happening? You tell me everything. I felt like we never kept secrets. Especially if it's something this serious, then we tell each other. You really scared me in that. I don't want you to keep things from me. Or feel like you can't tell me anything. Why have you been having nose please all of a sudden? Stressed? About what? You've been thinking about your past again? Or... <sighs> Hey, no, don't. You shouldn't have to tell me your whole life story. If you don't want to, we can save that for later because there are people going to be eavesdropping this conversation and that would be unsettling. So, you can tell me later, all right? I just don't. Uh, <sighs> oh my god, I'm just. <sighs> I was worried about you. But if you are having any problems, you can just talk to me. You don't have to tell me, like, why it's happening. You can just tell me that you're having nosebleeds. Like, I need to know the cause or whatever. I just need to know that you're having them. So you can talk to someone. If not me, then a therapist or something. Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't. Be sorry. <laughs> but. Yeah, you worried me, but. I mean, something that's that big shouldn't really be good for me, but I understand. If you don't want to tell me yet, you don't have to. Okay? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you promise? You promise not to keep anything like that for me anymore? Can you promise? No, give me your pinky. This is not second grade shit. Okay, just give me your pinky. You promised. That's locked. You can't, you can't do that. You pinky promised it and locked it. <laughs> okay. Well, do you want me to take you home or can you do the rest of the day? Because I don't want you passing out and having those bits again. You want to go home? Okay. Sure. We can perhaps sneak out. I'll take you anyway. <laughs> Are you two done talking? Or should I just... Oh, no, we're done. You can come back in now. Right. Um... So, are we all okay? Yeah. She's fine. Um... Can I take her home? Yeah, that's fine. Totally. Um... Yeah. Sorry. Um... I'll sign you out. Are you gonna stay with her? Yeah, I'll stay with her. Make sure she's okay. Alright, um, I'll send you both out. And I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, thanks. No worries. Oh, and, um, also take some paper towels with you. In case there's any, like, nosebleeds on the way home. Oh, thanks. Of course. So, do you want to go to your place and can watch movies? and cuddle and we can prank call Steve <laughs> all right but 
And with that, you two drive home and cuddle and hang out for the rest of the night. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys found this comforting. And the person who requested it, thank you so much for requesting. Um, I hope this was somewhat of what you wanted. Um, if not, then I do apologize. I was just going off by what I remember. Um, and yeah. I'm kind of scrolling through some requests right now. And I'm seeing a lot about Kurt Kunkel X listeners, um, uh, at X listener, where, yeah, if you tell them about the childhood, that's coming next, actually, ooh, more slashers, you guys want more slashers, I'll give you more slashers, but yeah, that's it, thank you so much for watching, I love you, Mwah. goodbye.